Sony says the PlayStation Vita is off to a strong start. The company has sold more than 1.2 million units of the handheld gaming console since the product debuted in mid-December. According to a Sony press release, demand in Asian markets has exceeded expectations. Sony has sold 2 million games for the Vita, both at physical retail locations and through the Vita's own online storefront. And All Things Digital points out that tally doesn't include numbers from the markets the Vita just launched in. The Vita only showed up stateside in mid-February. Plus, it just launched in North and Latin America, Europe and Singapore on February 22nd. Presumably, there's demand for the device there as well. The Vita garnered overwhelmingly positive reviews for its gaming capabilities and criticism for its less polished multimedia and social features. It saw a burst in sales when it first launched in mid-December. But Nintendo's 3DS launched this time last year and sold more than twice as many units by the end of March. CNET says Sony will have to figure out how to best tackle Nintendo's lead. The Vita starts at $250 for the Wi-Fi only version and the 3G equipped model sets customers back $300. If the Vita sales start to tail off like the 3DS's did, Sony could be faced with a tough choice. Press on and hope for the best or bring the price down. Forbes cites an analyst who says a price cut would give Sony a fighting chance and a nice boost to revenue. If Sony cuts its hardware price as Nintendo did shortly after the launch of Nintendo 3DS, the analyst believes Sony would sell 12.4 million units globally this year. When adding in sales of software to hardware, Sony could make $2.2 billion this year from its new portable. But Dan Su of VentureBeat predicts Vita won't pick up momentum outside the gamer circuit. As much as I like the physical device, I just know mine will be sharing dust collecting duties with the 3DS within two or three months. Why? The iPhone. The dual analog less tiny screen iPhone. Just looking at it as a gaming machine, the iPhone still wins with its huge library of cheap, readily accessible games. PC World reports the Vita's predecessor, the PlayStation Portable, is still a strong seller almost eight years after its debut. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.